Welcome to this introduction video of the subject Manufacturing Critical Path Time or MCT. MCT is one of the subjects within the overall topic Mapping of Customized Lean. In this video we will discuss the outline of the subject, the learning objectives, the definition of MCT and we discuss why we chose to address the metric of MCT. In order to learn everything you need to know about this subject, we provide several theoretical videos, practical examples, small quizzes and a number of cases, both simple ones and difficult ones. If you successfully went through this content, you should be able to explain what an MCT is, how you draw MCT maps, which data is needed in order to draw such an MCT map, and finally, how you use this data for MCT calculation. As you might know this, these pictures are print screens from the videos you are going to watch. In addition, you should also be able to combine this knowledge in order to use it within simple and difficult cases from practice or self-made. As I just mentioned, MCT stands for Manufacturing Critical Path Time. It is the typical amount of calendar time from when a customer creates an order through the critical path until the first piece of that order is delivered to the customer. Additional and more elaborate details on this definition are discussed within the first theoretical video about what is MCT. But why did we choose to address this MCT metric? Within quick response manufacturing, the main focus is on the reduction of lead time. Before this MCT metric was introduced, no precise, unambiguous, practical and universal definition for lead time or supplier lead time had been put forward. However, if you are interested in reducing lead times, you need a precise definition to be successful. After all, you are not able to reduce something if you can't even agree how to measure it. Besides, when you are able to draw MCT maps, it is easy to indicate opportunities for improvement since the map represents the value of time proportionally and clearly shows the critical path. It also visually highlights the grey and white space, but these concepts will be discussed in another video later on. So that was it for now and we wish you good luck with studying the subject.